The Fête Dia du Mississippi, that is coming up. It's a two-day event now. Nicole Potan joins us to talk about all the changes to this year's event. It's exciting, yes, though, that it's now not just a one-day event. It's spread out over two days. Right. Yes, we, um, we're we starting, we're doing it for the first time ever on the Mississippi River. It's 130 miles from Baton Rouge to New Orleans. And it's just a little bit too far to be able to do that in one day. <laughs> so we're going to do it overnight. We're going to stop in convent for all night adoration. Mm -hmm. um, a beautiful, holy couple of days, um, some revivals along the way. We're excited. And all of the boats involved, how does that work? Who is, who's on these boats? What are we going to see in this procession? Right. Well, so normally we have just the general public in boats to, to make it a boat procession. But this year, because the river is so big and the current so strong, we have to use special, we have to use tugboats. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a procession of about 16 tugboats lined up. Huge Eucharist boat, a 17 foot monstrance, a 10 foot crucifix. So the general public can't participate on the water, so to speak, but we have these big boats and big props, so to speak, um, and our, the public can see it from on shore. Yeah. And what are some of the other ways that the public can get involved with this year's event? Sure. Uh, what's going to be going on, you know, outside of the Mississippi River? Right. So we've got, um, we're going to have mass in Baton Rouge at the cathedral. We're going to do a foot procession from the church to the Shamrock Dock in Baton Rouge and then anchors away. And then we'll have several revivals in a few of the cities along the, along the Mississippi River um, where people can get together, listen to nationally reclaimed speakers. Uh, they can um, participate in the rosary. They can pray with us, um, just come in fellowship and watch the Blessed Sacrament pass by. It's going to be a beautiful day. Then we have all night adoration in convent. Mm -hmm. So the public can sign up for a holy hour in convent in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And then anchors away the next morning and we finish with Vespers in St. Louis uh, in the cathedral in New Orleans. A packed two days yes. starting on the 14th. So that's yes. when the mass will kick things off in Baton Rouge. On yes, the 14th. on the 14th. And then we have a full day uh, throughout that day, traveling down the Mississippi all the way to New Orleans, but stopping overnight in, in, convent. in convent. That's right. So that's where you'll be having that all night adoration. Again, you can sign up for a time slot for that if you would like to. And then, of course, kicking or ending things, ending the uh, the great event in um, New Orleans at the St. Louis uh, Cathedral. So if you would like to participate, fetdedutesh.org. Same website, but different name this year. Right. Fetdedumississippi. Right. Yeah. Taking on the Mississippi River, you can visit their website to learn more. And